Hello guys, um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today I'm here to show you guys how to do the uh, the large um, or jumbo knotless braids. Um, as you can see, I just started with, um, let's say your client hair, and um, you're going to braid it a little bit, um, but you have to start it with the braiding hair. And you got to braid it a little bit, like two, three inches down. And you start add your um, crochet curly hair. And as you can see, I was struggling a little bit. Um, so um, you just have to uh, feed in the... I kind of add a little um, braiding hair um, just to... Because the crochet only, the crochet Kelly hair only will not be able to, um, you know, hold the braids properly. So I kind of add a little um, braiding, expression braiding hair. And as you can see, um, guys, this style, I saw this style at a... Uh, um, Pinterest, uh, and one of my clients was showing it to me. I said, you know what? I think I know what it is. So as a braider, um, you have to be very creative, uh, creative, and you also have to, as soon as a, a new hair come up, you're going to have to figure it out what hair, how to do them, and all that. But I heard one of the Instagram um um braiders um create the style so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna find her name and i'm gonna post it on my instagram account because this hair is so dope it's beautiful and i just love it okay so i'm just gonna be quiet so you guys can watch um what i'm doing guys um the i didn't have um the crochet hair i didn't have a lot this is just left over from doing the fox locks and you know goddess locks um uh yes the goddess locks and fox locks and i just used the leftover i wish i had enough hair um to put i think it's enough hair um Guys, this is just crochet curly hair. You can use any type of crochet hair to do them. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to be quiet so you guys can watch what I'm doing. Guys, when you're doing knotless braids, um, y'all know we start with client hair. And guys, make sure you separate your client hair equal. All three hair have to be the same size. Um, that way you don't have problem of um, when you add the hair, your braids will be straight. Because if you don't separate your um client hair before like properly um your braid might not might be zigzag i just want to put it out so y'all know so guys as you go was a little struggle because um i have to go do refill and the hair was pulling my my nails was pulling them hair it was so crazy it was a struggling um yeah and as you braiding uh you're gonna have to um add your crochet hairs so you can be able to you'll be able to get the look that you want guys make sure you have enough crochet hair okay 
because you have to use less braiding hair. I was struggling with my camera. Um, guys, I filmed with my iPhone. And yeah, at the bottom of it, um, I was going to use um, uh, nail glue if I have to do like a real client hair. But then I think the rubber band should be fine. Depends on the client. If I'm doing it on a real client hair, I'm going to ask her if she want the to secure it with the nail glue or if she wants to secure it with rubber band guys try to separate your client hair um all three of your if you separate your client hair all three sides should be equal um or else you're gonna have problems especially when you're doing regular Nautilus braids so I just started with um client hair and yeah it was a struggle I was trying to find figure out how I can sit the camera properly and as I can add like two three hair on the bottom I just start adding the crochet hair I had to add a little braiding hair that way um my hands will be able to it just it makes it look better if I mix the um, braiding hair with the crochet hair. Guys, if you're doing the hair, please, if you're braiding the hair, please don't braid it very tight or um, very loose. You kind of have to figure it out on your own. Um, but I say don't braid it too tight and don't braid it too loose. Um, I will tell you the reason why you don't have to braid it too loose or too tight. Yeah, I was trying to show the hair properly because I wish I, you know, I, I think I should have did um, the hair at the mannequin, the back of the mannequin. It would have been, the camera, the view would have been a lot better. Yeah. So as I get to the bottom, guys, I use... Um, um, rubber band to um, secure it um, yeah this hair is so cute whoever created this um, kudos to her I need to figure out who did this and I will really shout her out and that's how it came out guys it's so cute and when you're done this is the reason why you can braid it too tight or too loose because you have to go back and fluff the braids out and get the be the you know the best look. I don't know if I'm explaining it right, but yeah, I had to pull them out to fluff it out. And yeah, the first one I did I already did I already um pull you know pull them out to make it fluffy. Um, guys, I always I I fluffy the. You know, not where the client hair is because it might come out. So you need to start where the braiding hair and the crochet hair start. So that way, um, client hair will not be sticking out. So yeah, that's how it came out. Um, it is so beautiful. I love this hairstyle. I can't wait to somebody book me and I will slay this. Yeah, it's so beautiful. So when you're done, you have to cut all the straight hair out of the crochet hair. So it will be nice and cute. And make sure you, you know, you cut all the little, little strain off of it. And I was just trying to fluffy the bottom. And yeah, came out so nice. 
and guys um if you want to know how to braid if you want to start a braiding business if you want to know how i started a success a successful braiding business guys stay here on my channel um subscribe to my channel share this video stay here on my channel and i'm gonna i'm gonna do a lot of videos um to show you guys how i became successful in braiding how i got my own shop how to create clientele and all that guys just subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn your notification on so you'll be part of my youtube friend and yeah thank you so much for watching and if you like this video give me a thumbs up let me know if you rock this um let me know if you rock this style thank you so much bye bye